In a novel by this author, the journalist Will Farnaby is shipwrecked on the tidal utopian island. In another novel by this author, Maurice Spandrell allows himself to be shot by the Brotherhood of British Freemen. Walter Bidlake's affair with Marjorie Carling is disrupted after he falls in love with Lucy Tantamount in this author's novel, Point Counterpoint. In a novel by this author, low-cast embryos are split with electric shocks in the Bokanovsky process, which creates clones for the world state. In that novel, Bernard Marx refuses to escape pain by consuming Soma, and John the Savage hangs himself. For 10 points, name this British author of Brave New World. And the answer is Aldous Huxley. A character in this novel takes comfort in his grandmother's collection of four skirts, which his grandfather Joseph briefly uses to hide from the police. That character from this novel is called Jesus by a gang of street children, the Dusters. After finding a detached finger in a field, this novel's protagonist is confined to a mental asylum for the murder of Sister Dorothea. This novel is followed by Cat and Mouse and Dog Ears in its author's Danzig trilogy. The main character of this novel has a scream that can shatter glass and decides to stop growing at the age of three. For 10 points, Oscar Maseroth lives through World War II in what novel by Gunter Grass? And the answer is The Tin Drum. A character created by this author explains the second law of thermodynamics by comparing the increasing chaos of the universe to rice pudding. That character, who asks Septimus about the meaning of the phrase carnal embrace, is the prodigy Thomasina Coverley. In a play by this author, the leader of a troop of players briefly pretends to die after being stabbed with a retractable knife. That play begins with two characters flipping a coin that lands on heads 92 times in a row. For 10 points, name this author of Arcadia, who wrote about the existential crises of two minor Hamlet characters in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, are dead. And the answer is Tom Stoppard. Abram men claim to be former inhabitants of one of these places. At the end of Hogarth's A Rake's Progress, the title character ends up in that one of these locations. A book about ten days in one of these locations on Blackwell's Island was written by investigative journalist Nellie Bly. The oldest one of these places in London is often called Bedlam. A heavy control panel is in a tub room in one of these places in a novel whose protagonist is the troublemaking Randall McMurphy. For 10 points, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is set in what kind of place where the so-called mentally ill are held. And the answer is Asylum. This author wrote, I barter curl for curl upon that mart, in a poem that begins, The soul's Rialto hath its merchandise. Another poem by this author describes an action as freely as men strive for right and purely as men turn from praise. This author contemplated the sweet years of which Theocritus had sung in a collection that commands the reader to call me by my pet name. In another poem, in that collection, she asks, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. For ten points, name this poet of sonnets from the Portuguese, which was dedicated to her husband Robert. And the answer is Elizabeth Barrett Browning. In a story by this author, 
A woman causes a shirtless man to violently recoil when she puts her hand on his shoulder and calls him one of her own children. In another story by this author, a white woman with a hideous green and purple hat is punched by a black woman wearing the same hat after she condescendingly offers the black woman's son a bright new penny. Julian's mother has a stroke after riding an integrated bus in this author's story, Everything That Rises Must Converge. In a story by this author, the grandmother dooms her family to be killed after she recognizes the misfit. For 10 points, name this southern gothic author of A Good Man is Hard to Find. And the answer is Flannery O'Connor. This character prays at a cathedral but is interrupted by a man who asks, Don't you know where you belong? A short-sighted police officer arrests this character for riding a coach with a false passport. A man accuses Mrs. Podgetkin of hiring witches to orchestrate this character's disappearance. Earlier, that man sees this character exit a carriage wearing the plumed hat of a state counselor. The barber Ivan Yakovlevich discovers this character in a loaf of bread at the beginning of the story in which it appears. For 10 points, name this body part that travels around St. Petersburg after detaching from Major Kovalyov's face in a Nikolai Gogol story. And the answer is the nose. A character in this play considers getting an abortion to protect the part of the, her family that's already living, but changes her mind when she moves into a new home. Another character in this play criticizes Benita's decision to mutilate her hair by straightening it. In this play, Walter's plans to invest in a liquor store are foiled when Willie steals $10,000 worth of life insurance money. The central family in this play rejects Carl Lindler's offer to buy back their house in Clyburn Park. The black younger family's integration into a white neighborhood in Chicago is chronicled in, for 10 points, What Play by Lorraine Hansberry. And the answer is A Raisin in the Sun. The narrator of this book describes the separation he puts between himself and his guests while discussing big thoughts in big words in the chapter Visitors. This book claims that if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. In its chapter Brute Neighbors, this book depicts a war between two factions of ants. This book's chapter Economy cites a desire to live deliberately for the author's decision to move into a cabin next to the tidal pond. For 10 points, name this transcendentalist book about Life in the Woods by Henry David Thoreau. And the answer is Walden. In one story... This author describes a mental institution that employs a system of soothing, but abandons it after the patients overthrow the doctors. That story is The System of Dr. Tar and Professor Feather. In a story by this author, the title woman reincarnates after Lady Rowena dies. This author wrote a story in which a masquerade hosted by Prince Prospero ends after a guest wearing a bloody funeral shroud is revealed to be the embodiment of a deadly plague. In another story by this author, Montresor lures Fortunato to his death by promising him a barrel of fine wine. For 10 points, name this author of Ligela, The Mask of the Red Death, and The Cask of Amontillado. And the answer is Edgar Allan Poe. 